Welcome back everyone. This is this week's update for version 0.60. A bunch of new things apart from a ton of bug fixes. I discovered a bunch of invisible walls here and there in the base and uh, tied into some objects. I've removed all those. I've also fixed uh, things like the lock icon showing up in your written stage briefings if you've locked the prop. I've also fixed uh, not loading the correct scan base uh, if you download a stage from Stage Central. I also fixed a crashing bug for some users who uh, had the application crash when you were loading some certain stage files. And all those things have been fixed, so hopefully a lot more stable for all of you. So a bunch of uh, new props. So the new props are essentially the uh, out and back swingers. Uh, we have a... Uh, I originally made the out and back for right side only. And now I have the out and back left side, obviously. I just took me a while to get this done so we have this for IDPA, USPSA and uh, IPSC I also have a new target called the tip out target which is almost like the out and back uh, but it, instead of just going out and coming back in it just stays out and so dip, you would typically use this behind a no shoot so for instance I put a no shoot up here put it in front of these and then I drop a popper and I'll associate a popper with this swinger here so when I shoot um, this will pop up on the right side. So if I go over to F10 for simulation mode, like that. Oh, also, if you realize, I have uh, made the popper more realistic. So before this, when you shot the popper, the moment you hit the popper, even before the steel falls down, it activated the target. But now if you realize, it takes a while. It basically passes a certain point and then it starts to activate. So if I shoot, like that, much more realistic. So yeah, that's what that's the tip out. We have that target for uh, USPSA tip out left and right, uh, IPSC tip out left and right uh, over here, and then we have uh, IDPA as well for uh, tip out left and right. So those are the cool new props. Also, I had a request to make uh, a a wall. I had this prop where you can actually. So if you go to F10 here, if you go close, it basically activates the flap, right? And now we have a smaller one. So instead of a wide flap, I have the small flap like that. So if you go close, it will activate the port and you open. Right? So we have that as well. What else do I have? Well, I made a change where the the X's weren't colorable. So if you go to stage markers, these axes here will not colorable. So if you drop this on a wall, for instance, now you can actually uh, paste through the colors and change to whatever color you want. And uh, I also made a start position marker. So if you go over here and say, click on start position. So this is for you to specify where you want to start. So for instance, if the start position over here, you place a marker over here. So once you set the start position over there, when you load the stage again, it will automatically move you into this position. Uh, so instead of moving you to the center of the stage, uh, of the stage all the time, you can specify where you want to place the player when you load the stage. And the last one is somebody asked for a, another vehicle model. So if you go over the props, I have a bunch of vehicles over here. The latest one added was just a sedan, basically, like a standard car. In this case, it's a Benz. It looks pretty nice. So you can put this as a stage prop. I know nobody will put their Benz on the stage, especially when there are guns and bullets flying around. But, you know, somebody asked for it. So there you go. The next thing is if you notice the dis distance meter at the bottom of the screen. Uh, originally I had it just showing meters only. Somebody requested for feet so I made that conversion as well. So wherever you point now shows you the distance from where you are to where you're pointing. Another one is to speed up uh, picking props. So if, if you hit uh, enter or if you hit tilde to bring out the, the menu, I default your position, basically your mouse or your keyboard position, your cursor sorry, to the text. So instead of having to come in here and then clicking on this, now when you hit the prop menu, you can start typing. So let's say uh, swinger and immediately, you know, it just basically allows you to qu quickly look for, uh, uh, look for items. So just hit tilde and go wall, wall, right? So it makes searching for objects much quicker. If you go over to the menu here and go to change bay, you can obviously create new presets, you can remove presets, and now you can also edit the preset name. So let's say for instance, you, when you create a new preset, I will just automatically create one with a random set of numbers. 
and now you can go in here and just change the preset name to whatever you want so in this case i want to do uh, this test example right so now you have a preset with a test example and you will save for your stage file as well so you can customize and name them whatever you want also in the same vein target numbers used to be automatically calculated from left to right of the bay but there were some stages especially in idpa where your target numbers are very specific like for instance you have to engage t1 through this port and then um, t2 from the left side and then t3 from the right side and so the numbers were all uh, different so somebody requested for an ability to modify the target numbers instead of auto calculate so i've removed the auto calculate function so if you load a stage where you used to have t1 to t10 whatever t1 to t3 going from left to right they, they won't show anymore so you have to go in and manually change this so if you highlight you see now there's an ability to change the text so you can change this one to t2 maybe and this one to uh, just press i this one to T3. So you can customize your uh, your target numbers. You can also call them whatever you want. You can actually just type blah, blah, whatever. And it will just show as well. So it's up to you what you want to type. So you have full control of uh, how you want to name your targets and whatever you want to name them uh, to. So there you go. This is the update for 0.60. I hope you all like it. And again, if you want to give me feedback, please go to the Discord channel. The link is in the YouTube description. Or if you hit menu, go to settings, provide your feedback over here. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to implement key binding sometime in the future. I haven't done that yet, so hopefully you will be able to get that soon. Apart from that, if you have anything else to just do, let me know. Any pr uh, prop suggestions, please send them my way, and I'll try to get it done. So thanks, everybody, and uh, have a good weekend.